YouTube, my name is Rachel Mayo. Welcome to my channel and thank you for being here. If you're new to my channel and have not yet subscribed, please do so now. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for being a subscriber. I do appreciate you. I'm going to be discussing how I used high doses of vitamin B5 to clear my hormonal cystic acne. Watch this video all the way to the end if you're really interested in clearing your cystic acne because in between the scientific information, I will be giving my very own personal experiences. I took high doses of vitamin B5 for two and a half months. You want to listen to everything so that you can compare side effects with my own personal experiences. At the end of this video, I will tell you what my dosage was, what dosages I tried, and what eventually worked for me according to my weight. I'm also going to discuss the safety of taking high doses of vitamin B5. I will also talk about the possible side effects or perhaps the side effects that I may have personally experienced. And then I'll also let you know what my maintenance dose is. And of course, I will let you know where you can buy vitamin B5, how much it costs, and hopefully you will use my affiliate link which I'm going to provide in the description area. So now let's get to it. Virtually everybody remembers how frustrating acne, blackheads and pimples and blemishes can be. But perhaps you experienced this at puberty. While some have been spared from the ordeal of acne, most have been suffering trying to figure out how to cure or clear their acne. So you may have gone to numerous dermatologists. You've probably done procedures like chemical pills which can eventually damage the skin which can eventually be very damaging to the skin. You've visited dermatologists, you've been on antibiotics, you've probably taken Accutin, and you still have not been successful at clearing your acne. One of the most successful treatments for acne is Accutin. Just keep in mind that it's a very, very strong drug and it can dry you up internally. It can also cause depression and lead to suicide. So before you go to the extreme measures of taking the prescription of Accutin, I want you to give vitamin B12 a chance. Personally, it was quite frustrating and embarrassing for me to be going through hormonal cystic acne at my age. I am an esthetician after all. I've been an esthetician for over 20 years. Honestly, I thought I got over this in my teen years. I did not expect to be dealing with hormonal cystic acne at my age. I'm in my 40s. You're not supposed to be dealing with acne at this point in your life. We all know that excess sebum is what causes acne. Well, oily skin has one benefit. It delays the development of wrinkles. So you may have wrinkle-free skin, but you will still be subject to a breakout here and there. I know some of my viewers have cystic acne. It could be very, very painful. It will make your face literally hurt. What sucks about cystic acne is that it doesn't ripen. It doesn't have a head for you to pop the pimple. So it's just a huge bump, a huge pimple that you cannot pop and it just stays there and it hurts as hell. And if you are successful at popping it, it's very likely that it's going to leave acne pits, which are very, very difficult to get rid of. And you'll possibly be dealing with scars and blemishes for a very long time to, for a very long time to come. The blemishes you get from cystic acne are very, very difficult to get rid of. You will probably have to deal with a series of chemical peels in order to smoothen and flatten your skin and get rid of the horrible holes that may be left as a result of your cystic acne. The picture that I have at the beginning of the video was actually taken after being on vitamin B12 for about two weeks. Honestly, I was so embarrassed of how it looked. I had huge zits everywhere. I had zits very close to my mouth. I had zits all over my forehead and my face hurt like hell. So I was too embarrassed to take a picture then. After two weeks, the bigger bumps did actually go down a bit. But, and then I felt a bit confident to take a picture because of course, if I'm going to tell you that vitamin B12 works, I have to have a before and after picture. And that's the after picture. That's a picture. That's a final picture I took after being on vitamin B12 for about three months. I didn't want to do this video without makeup on simply because you were not going to be going to be able to see the actual results. I have a lot of lighting in this studio, so you were not going to see the actual results. I had no face powder, no makeup in that picture. As you can see, my face is shining and you can still see some of the tiny blemishes that I still have left over. But as you can see, the cystic acne is no longer there. It's all gone. 
I have no more cystic acne. And all because I took vitamin B5. That picture was taken in a room where the lighting is more natural. If you're suffering from hormonal cystic acne and you'd like some personal guidance, or you have some questions that are or or you have some questions that I may not have addressed in this discussion, I encourage you to leave me a comment in the comment section. I always reply to comments. As I mentioned before, I've been an esthetician for over 20 years. So over the years, I've treated a lot of people who suffered from acne. Actually, my very own struggle with acne is what led me to go to school to become an esthetician. So I'm very, so I'm very well versed on this subject and I've tried many different things to help clear it. After you've treated your cystic acne internally, you may be still left with scars. So if you want to know more treatments, what kind of creams you can use, what kind of pills you can do, I'm sure you're interested to find out about what other treatments are available for you to treat your external scars, the acne pits and the blemishes. And if you are interested, I suggest that you press like, share my video and please subscribe to my channel. Please share my videos on your social media or with other family members. So by, so by sharing my videos, you'll be actually helping somebody and helping my channel grow. And I truly appreciate that. Thank you. You might be thinking, hmm, I already get enough vitamin B5 from my diet. And yes, this is true. Vitamin B5 is found in almost all the food that we eat. But if you are breaking out and you have and you're suffering from hormonal cystic acne, that means you need extra vitamin B5. The amount you're getting from your food or supplements is only enough for the functions that B12 is needed for in your in your body. And this is why we have to take vitamin B5 in high doses so that we have an excess amount. The excess amount of vitamin B5 is what reduces the overproduction of sebum and we all know sebum is and we all know that the, and we all know excess sebum excess oil is what causes breakouts and if you're worried about safety i would like you to know that vitamin b5 is a water soluble vitamin you cannot overdose on this if you take high doses your your body is going to take what it needs to function and the rest is going to be used to reduce the overproduction of sebum so you should not worry about taking too much of this vitamin or overdosing on it because or, or overdosing on it because your body is going to naturally excrete whatever it doesn't need. You will most likely urinate any excess of this vitamin. So we have established that it is safe to take in high doses. However, if you're underweight or below the age of 18, you should consult a doctor. If you're in a good weight range, but you're under 18, I suggest that you ask your parents if you can take this vitamin. Just don't go and say, Rachel is an esthetician and she said, take high doses of vitamin B5 to get rid of your cystic acne. Ask your parents first. So some of you may be wondering, well, if vitamin B5 works so well, why didn't my esthetician or my dermatologist prescribe it to me? The simple answer to that question is, supplements, vitamins cannot be patented. This is why your doctor or your esthetician did not tell you about it. They can't prescribe it to you. They're, so therefore, they cannot make any money by telling you about it because it's very affordable and you don't need a prescription. And besides, if they told you about this, you would have no more acne and they would be out of business. There's bottles that come with 100 pills in them and I believe you pay about $16 for two and then there's a deal that comes with 250 in each bottle and I believe you pay about $33 for two. If you've decided that you're going to take this vitamin to treat your cystic acne, I suggest you start with two bottles because in order for this treatment to work, you're going to have to take high doses. I'm going to talk about the dosage in a little bit. But first, let's go through the scientific information. And as I promise, I will give you my personal experience in between. In this section, I'm going to give you information about vitamin B5. It's also called pantotenic acid. This is a, tr this is a treatment for acne. I will also explain the role of vitamin B5 in the metabolism of fats and oils and how increasing the metabolism of these oils will reduce accumulation of oils in your skin and thereby reduce or eliminate acne. So what are the common causes of acne? Acne is an adverse side effect of birth control pills which mimic testosterone. 
Elevated testosterone levels in males and females are associated with increase in oil production, which leads to acne. A common genetic mutation called atypical CAH, congenital adrenal hyperplasia, causes testosterone in females, resulting in acne. PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, this syndrome is associated with increased testosterone production and acne is common. If you're new to my channel and have not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, which is please hit the subscribe button. It's right below this video, the red button. It's not a commitment. If you're new to my channel and have not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, which is please hit the subscribe button. It's right below this video, the red button. It's not a commitment. Traditionally, acne is treated by the dermatologist. They use different types of treatments with various types of cleansers, antibiotics, and drugs such as Accutin. Accutin's most commonly reported side effect is depression that could lead to suicide. Both Accutin and vitamin B5 work by different mechanisms. Accutin works by shrinking the sebaceous glands at the root of the hair follicles. However, vitamin B5 works by reducing the oil production of the sebaceous glands. This is done by increasing core enzyme A, call A, which increases the metabolic breakdown of oils by increasing normal activity of cell physiology. What is vitamin B5? Vitamin B5 is also called pantothenic acid. This is one of the most important vitamins for human life. It's necessary for making blood cells and it also helps to convert the food that we eat into energy. Vitamin B5 is one of the eight B vitamins. All B vitamins help you convert the protein, the carbohydrates, and the fats you eat into energy. B vitamins are also needed for healthy skin, hair, and eyes, proper functioning of the nervous system and the liver, a healthy digestive tract, making red blood cells which carry oxygen throughout the body, making sex and stress hormones in the adrenal glands. Vitamin B5 has many important functions. These include convert, converting food into glucose, synthesizing cholesterol, forming sex and stress hormones, forming red blood cells. As with all B vitamins, pantothenic acid helps the body break down fats, carbohydrates and proteins so that our bodies can use them for energy and rebuilding tissues, organ, tissues muscles and organs. This was my personal experience about that. After taking high doses of vitamin B5 for about five days, I did notice that the big swollen cystic acne, the big swollen pimples did actually go down. I didn't even have to pop them. It's like they were being reabsorbed into my system from the inside. They didn't have a head anyway. They just simply started going down after five days. So yes, you will see some kind of result by the fifth day. That's if, of course, you're taking high doses according to your age and weight. I was so happy to see that this vitamin was actually beginning to give me results. Vitamin B5 has a role in synthesizing coenzyme A. Coenzyme A is involved in the synthesis of fatty acids, and it is important for converting foods into fatty acids and cholesterol. Coenzyme A is also needed for, for the creation of sphenogosinin, a fat-soluble molecule that helps deliver chemical messages inside the body cells. The liver needs coenzyme A to metabolize drugs and other toxins. The digestive system. Vitamin B5 helps maintain a healthy digestive system and assists, in, and assists the body in using other vitamins especially vitamin B2. Vitamin B2 helps manage stress, but there is no evidence that pantothenic acid will help you reduce stress. Yeah, perhaps if you don't have any more cystic acne, you won't be as miserable. Vitamin B5 has been shown to reduce the spread of acne as well as provide benefit of other areas of the body. Fortunately, I don't get body acne, back acne or chest acne. But, but for those who suffer from acne in those parts of their body, this is the vitamin that you need because it's going to be able to dissolve the cysts and clear the acne wherever it is on your body. Also says vitamin B5 can help you lose weight. Unfortunately, I didn't get that experience. However, this is a bit embarrassing. After taking vitamin B5 for about a week, I noticed that I was going to the bathroom much more regularly and my poop had turned yellow. So, 
So if your poop turns yellow, please do not have a heart attack. This is very normal. I think it's all that excess fat that is being pulled out of your skin is coming out through your is coming out through your is coming out through your poop. I also noticed that I was peeing much more regularly. So please make sure to drink a lot of water. Help your body get rid of the toxins and the excess oil. This vitamin is busy working to clear all the excess and water is the and water is going to help your liver and your kidneys function better. Skin care. Some studies have shown that vitamin B5 works as a moisturizer on the skin and it also enhances the healing process of skin wounds. This is true because after four days I did notice a difference in my skin. It was much softer and it was less bumpy. It looked like I had less blemishes but the explanation to that was I wasn't getting any more new cystic acne. Just that fact alone made my skin look a whole lot better. The cystic pimples were going down, my face was hurting less. Overall I was beginning to feel very encouraged. Vitamin B5 helps with facial acne and reduce the number of acne related facial blemishes when taken as a dietary supplement. Yes, this is very true because after being on high doses for about two weeks, I did notice that the blemishes were beginning to slightly lighten. Researchers noted a significant mean reduction in total lesion count after 12 weeks after taking B5 dietary supplement. So as I said earlier, I noticed a major difference at the two-week mark. The cystic acne had stopped erupting and it was beginning to dissolve and go down. But by eight weeks, everything had totally cleared up. I was not getting any more pimples and there was no more pain in my face. So if your acne is not that severe, you can expect to be completely healed of cystic acne at the eight-week mark. But if you have a severe case of cystic acne, you have to realistically give yourself at least 12 weeks on high doses of the vitamin B5 is much more realistic. So I don't know of any other supplement that you can take that has a low cost, that has very few side effects and actually works to treat cystic acne. If you are suffering from cystic acne and you've tried everything, I think you should really give vitamin B5 a try. Cholesterol and triglycerides. Some studies suggest that vitamin B5 intake can help lower cholesterol and levels of blood triglycerides or fats. This course of management should be only pursued under medical supervision. And so not only are you clearing your cystic acne, you're also helping your digestive system, you're lowering cholesterol, and at the end, you might possibly lose some pounds. How could you go wrong? What is panthene? Pantothenic acid, also called vitamin B5, is a water-soluble vitamin involved in the Krebs cycle of energy production and is needed to make the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. It is also essential in producing, transporting, releasing energy from fats. Synthesis of cholesterol needed to manufacture vitamin D5 and steroid hormones depends on pantothenic acid. It is vital to the proper functioning of your body. This is why you need to take it in supplement form so that it can reduce the overproduction of sebum and thus reduce the formation of acne. Pantothene is actually the active form of vitamin B5. I was going to actually try and take that instead because it's actually already in the active form, but it's actually much more expensive. The advantage of taking it in its active form is that you end up taking less pills because this formulation is a concentration, but it's also much more expensive. And all the research that I did, all of them say that they took vitamin B5 in the pantothenic acid form. So it's up... So it's up to you which way you want to go, but I suggest you try the vitamin B5 first. And perhaps when you want to do maintenance, then you can switch to the pantothene. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but there, <laughs> there it is. Pantothene is made of two vitamin B5 molecules linked together with small sulfurs, S, in the center. It is also well known that the better oxidization of fatty acids depends on CoA. If there is a deficiency of acetyl-CoA in the body, oxidation of fatty acids will slow down and the skin becomes oily, resulting in acne. Increasing the available amount of acetyl-CoA will speed up the metabolism of fatty acids, which are then used 
for energy production. Taking vitamin B5, pantothenic acid, is the easiest way to increase acetyl-CoA to increase the rate of fatty acid metabolism. If you didn't watch the whole video, I suggest you go back. You may have missed out on my own personal experiences. I gave these experiences in between the information, in between the scientific information. This is important so that you can compare my experiences while taking vitamin B5. This way you will know exactly what to expect. So this is my personal experience about the dosing. When I first started taking the vitamin B5, I was really excited and I wanted to see results right away. And after I read all the scientific information, I concluded that it would be safe for me to take high doses. So I started with 12 a day. I started with six in the morning with a lot of water without food. And then I took the last dose before I went to sleep. So six in the morning and six at night. I know that's really ambitious, 12 pills a day, but I really wanted to get rid of the cystic acne. It was very, very uncomfortable for me, especially for a skincare specialist. I couldn't bear to look at myself, and as you all know, I do YouTube videos, so having acne is just a no-no. So by the fourth day, I noticed that I was making much more frequent trips to the bathroom. I was peeing a whole lot more and my poop had started to turn yellow. So I figured I was probably taking way too much. So I, re so I decided to reduce my so I decided to reduce my dose to 10. Actually, a lot of people have had much more success with taking 10 per day. It is costly because these pills do run out fast and this is why I suggest for you to buy at least two or four bottles. I started out with four bottles and they were gone within a short period of time. Before you go ahead and say it's okay for you to take 10 a day, keep in mind that 10 pills worked for me because I'm not underweight, I'm overweight. So if you are underweight or under 18, you may want to start with three in the morning and three at night. And if that's working out and giving you results, maybe you should stay at that dose. Or if you're being a bit more ambitious, you feel it's not working for you, you can add more pills slowly. Just don't take everything at once because what may work for me is not necessarily what is going to work for you. You have to take all of that into consideration. So I stayed at this dosage consistently for about three months. Keep in mind, you cannot take any breaks. If you take breaks in between before all the cystic acne is gone, it's just going to come back because here you're trying to regulate the overproduction of sebum. So essentially this means that you cannot be completely off of vitamin B5. Apparently your skin type or your body overproduces sebum. So if you do stop taking it completely, eventually your cystic acne is going to come back. After I completed the three months, I lowered my dosage to about four a day, two in the morning and two at night. I don't take it consistently every day like I did in the beginning, but when I'm approaching my cycle, I start taking a higher dose because we all know all the hormonal changes when you're about to get your period can lead to overproduction of sebum and you start getting pimples all over again. So my advice to you from experience is increase your dosage a week before you get your cycle. So if you are suffering from cystic acne, I highly suggest that you try vitamin B5. You don't need a prescription from your doctor it, and it's quite affordable and has very minimal side effects. The, the major side effect is that it's going to clear your cystic acne and we all want this. If you're suffering from cystic acne and you have any questions for me, please feel free to leave your questions in the comment section below this video. And if you enjoyed this video, please press like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.